there's a the time when he's talking about walking into the ring that as he steps in the ring, like all the nervousness, all the things that going through his head, and that as his confidence builds as he gets towards the ring and he steps through the ropes, I'm a god. When he says that, I'm like, holy shit! Hey, hey, my hey, goosebumps hey, are popping hey. up. I was like, oh my god. He was basically had no love in his life mm -hmm. until he met Customato, and Customato became a father figure, but also. Customato was a hypnotist and a, a, a psychologist in a lot of ways and a fantastic boxing coach as well and took this young kid and showed him that you're going to get love from accomplishment and you're going to conquer and you're going to become the greatest heavyweight boxer of all time. And through his tutelage, up until the moment that he died, Mike Tyson was just a, a, just a phenom, a thing that we had never seen before. He was the pit bull with no leash that that respected one person yes and anybody else at any given time feared the fuck out of this pit bull <laughs> my friend kevin lee said it best kevin lee fights for the ufc he said uh, when he's sitting next to him he goes he goes that's a lion <laughs> he goes i'm sitting next to him like is that mike tyson he goes that's a lion <laughs> When I had him in here for the podcast, he said he didn't want to stoke his ego. He didn't want to work out. He goes, because if I work out, my ego fires up. There he is. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this shit here. He's not boxing. He's trying to destroy motherfuckers. He's, he's 53 years old. He's doing this, and he's only been doing this again for like less than a year. So it's only been like four or five months that he's really been training hard, and everything's just coming back. It's I mean, I wonder. I wonder what it is. I wonder if he just was bored. I mean, I really wonder. Like, this is this is the crazy shit. Jesus Christ. I mean, that's, Jesus Christ. If you saw that guy, if you saw Jesus. that guy training, and he was a 22 year old kid, you're like, man, this motherfucker is gonna be something, because he's just got an intensity that you rarely see from any fighter. There's a fury that burns inside of him.